I'm Jim Yakubuski, front of house engineer for Journey. We've been uh, out since July. This is my first uh, run with these guys. In the past, uh, I spent a lot of years with Avril Lavigne and Matchbox 20 and also uh, Rob Thomas on his solo stuff. I've been looking for a new studio monitor for quite a while. And uh, Christy Joe at Sennheiser and I uh, spoke. And that was the beginning of trying to find the right product for the various applications that I use a studio monitor for. And for touring and for the fact that I often do corporate gigs as well as some uh, in-room Pro Tools editing and stuff like that. The KH120s were perfect. The size is perfect to uh, take care of all those things and the sound is still big enough to, to pack enough punch uh, in a small package. The first thing I noticed when I heard them was that, that nothing stood out. I didn't, I didn't say, well, the low end's a little muddy or the, the highs are too crispy and I'd like to work on that a little bit. Just right off the bat, it, I played the one song that I, I start every tuning session with, a Sarah McLachlan song. And right away I was like, this is what the song sounds like. The low end on the, on the 120s is just so tight and uh, true. The other thing that really jumped out was the imaging. I just really felt like I was in the mix. I, I set them up at home mixing area and uh, you know had, had them about three and a half, four feet apart and I, I was just right in the song. I've used these a lot of times too to preview stuff for a producer or something who just, you know, they maybe want to test drive a piece of music for a video roll or something. Overall weight and size is ideal for traveling, for throwing them underneath the bus and uh, the fact that they're powered and well-powered. For me, the size is, is, is perfect uh, and the sound is great. 